Hi guys, I'm Leanne from The Real School of Music and here are our top five ways to support your child's music practicing at home. All parents and caregivers want to figure out the best way to support their child's love of music along with their need to practice their instrument at home. You want to encourage them to practice and grow, but you also don't want to put too much pressure on them. First, you want to set up a good practicing environment. This is a dedicated go-to space in a part of your home that's away from the hustle and bustle of an entranceway or your kitchen. This does not mean locked away in a dark corner of your basement where no one in your family wants to hang out. You're looking for a balance between somewhere comfortable and where they can concentrate, just like if they were doing their schoolwork. Second, stick to a schedule and routine. Whether this means 20 minutes for your little one or 60 minutes or more for your advanced teenager, practice at the same time each day. Consistency is the key. Without a set schedule, you're more likely to just wing it, which leads to more cram sessions before your lessons. And I know from experience that this does not work out so well. Third, include mini performances at home. These could be living room concerts for siblings or friends, or even video chats with grandparents. Casual, low pressure performances at home can help your child to have more fun, show off what they've learned, and even boost their confidence. Tip number four is to find appropriate ways to encourage and compliment. Studies have shown that it's better to praise your children for their efforts than the results of those efforts. Instead of saying, you're such a great guitar player, say something like, you've been practicing a lot and I'm really proud of how hard you're working. Or, I've noticed that you've been trying more challenging songs and that's really something to be proud of. So instead of using vague phrases like, you're doing great, be specific, descriptive, and focus on their efforts. And tip number five is to tune into your own feelings and attitude. You may be feeling stressed for time and just trying to get through the practicing, or you're worried about their progress, how little they've practiced this week, or how you'll keep up your routine once the sports schedule starts again. Although we may not realize it in the moment, kids pick up on these subtle cues and emotions. This is totally normal. So when you catch yourself feeling distracted or overly judgmental about how they're doing, that's your cue to switch gears. Focus on being positive and enthusiastic, praising them for their efforts. So that's our top five tips to support your child's practicing. Thanks for watching.